Welcome back. I'm sitting here with Fly. And uh, of course, I'm fortunate that you are here just as a spectator. Uh, but I'm curious, what did you do after you got knocked out at the tournament? What did you do yesterday? Uh, I actually didn't do anything. Okay. My team went out and I was really tired. Um, because that day I actually woke up at 3.30 a.m. And I couldn't sleep. I don't know why. So I was really, really tired. So I just went to bed. Like, of course, feeling sad and all. But my team went to party. So that was good. Yeah, because uh, do you think that had an effect? Like that you were so tired on the game itself? or? Uh, of course it does a little bit because I was a bit out of it. And I know I didn't play as good as I would normally do. But of course I don't blame anything because, you know, they played better than us. They were the better team. So No, no excuses. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Well, I, you, you ended fourth, and I think if you would ask a lot of people before the tournament, like, what, what kind of ranking would you end in? Uh, a lot of people would have said second, for some reason. Uh, by <laughs> the way, reason. you broke the curse. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. So, so you know, you take, uh, what is it, two steps back and four steps forward next time? Yeah, exactly. So that is the plan, you know. Yeah. yeah. We had to change it up. We couldn't go second again. We were like, no way we're getting second again. So, while the goal was first, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. plan changed a bit, so. Well, uh, I mean, something went wrong. Do you know what? Like, did you talk about that with your team, or did you just, you know, just a fresh start for the next tournament? Or how, um, do, you, how do you deal with that? I okay. think overall we just played bad. Um, one thing was, for example, the first game against the Lions. Yeah. Um, we had everything planned out. Everything went exactly according to plan. They picked exactly what we expected them. W everything was perfect, but then we still lost. Uh, the Roche had a big factor of it and yeah. we were we weren't properly like we weren't ready for it as we should have been and after that at least in my mind I was like a bit thrown off because I did not see myself losing that game and then like my mentality changed and I felt a bit beaten already which was uh, wrong it shouldn't yeah. be like that so the second game they outshafted us they uh, destroyed us and after that we we were pretty much couldn't recover that well so Okay, because what's your feeling about Shadow Sham and Viper combination? Because, I mean, both of the series you've been beaten by that combination. Um, second, like against Navi, it was a bit different since it was run as support. Yeah. Uh, overall, Shadow Shaman on Dire in general is very scary because you always have to be afraid of the Roshan. And it was in our heads the entire time. We're like, have to check Rosh. We rocketed Rosh around 10 times while they weren't doing it at all. And you know, like if it's, it's stuck in your head. And Viper in general is a very strong team fight here if he gets the farm. So pretty much what they did that game was get the items, get the core items, and go fight us, and we lost the fight. So yeah, it was too early for you to start fighting because you did pick up a Pugna, for example. I yeah. mean, you you had a hero that definitely can deal with that combination, but yeah. it still didn't uh, didn't go as planned. Well, the Pugna pick we were, it was good against four of the heroes. It's not good against Viper. Um, okay. And actually, we could see the Viper coming in the end before we picked the Pugna because it's good against Snakes so and they needed some Havost hero. <laughs> and I don't know, I think, I think we just played pretty bad. I think the lineups were more or less fine. It's, all, it's not like we were outdrafted. Like their lineup has to win 100% against us. It's not like that. They just played better than us. Yeah. Uh, maybe it was slightly better at least the second game, but they just outplayed us, really. Yeah, I talked to uh, talked to fucking Matt yesterday, and he said yeah, like your draft was solid. So, yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't a draft. Yeah. Next time, of course, uh, chance to, to get back on top. For now, just uh, a spectator. So you have watched all the games? Yes, I have watched all the games. What do you think so far of like just did you just even because this is not your first star ladder. Obviously, you've been I believe five times. Uh, no, this Six. would be my third, I believe third? personally. I think so. Yeah. Did you miss one while your team? Yeah, was we here? missed the last one, for sure. Okay. I don't. I think I remember this as a three. I might be wrong. Um, okay. So sure. so so, what do you think about this star ladder? Because it's it's bigger. I mean, it's uh it's got English actually English production value, which is uh, which is a first like this at this scale. This is a bit pretty impressive, for at least from my po point of view. But how do you experience it? Um, I think it's getting much better every time. I remember the last time. For example, now we we arrived. Actually, they had us people picking us up. That's already. A f a really nice step before we had to take a cab so it's like yeah. the small things you notice really and like they clear out more room for people to spectate and the production is getting bigger like you said now we actually have a nice place to cast from um, it's just getting better every time so I'm really happy about the event I think everything is well made uh, playing as Sage the only problem we have is that 
there's a lot of noise and yeah. we don't have anything to do about it. You don't have any noise cancellation or anything and it's really hard to hear ourselves, but, you know, the and overall is better. Uh, if you're playing against Navi, I mean the crowd is loud for Navi. Is that something that that bothers you? Because I was like, uh, I was talking to Matt yesterday, yeah. and he said like, they, it overall it doesn't bother them, but sometimes, um, you know, for example, Sigma Na Sigma Navi was, you know, Sigma gets a kill, nobody cheers, Alliance get a kill, everybody cheers. So if you're having a big team fight and one of Sigma dies and half of Navi dies, the crowd would still cheer for that big one kill, and yeah. you know th there would be a split second where he would think, "Oh, are are we actually losing the fight?" Did you have like moments like that where you were like confused because you thought you were doing? Um, I don't think we were winning any fights, so I didn't really have any <laughs> confusion. But um, I I can see why it would be a bit annoying. I I don't take it that bad personally, but you know it's it's still a bit demotivating when everyone is cheering for that one team. Although I think overall. In this event, we were probably the second most cheered for yeah, team. Yeah, oh I yeah, I think so. I agree. So I, I don't have it as bad as Sigma because they were the least cheered for, and I think that's wrong. I mean, even if just a few people would clap for them because, you know. Sometimes people do try, but it's like yeah. a handful of people scattered throughout the arena. It's uh, yeah. what can what can you do? I mean, it's nice for Navi at least. Oh I'm yeah, sure. definitely. And and you're considered the loudest team. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's good. It's good to have the loudest team. I don't think I personally am the loudest, but we have uh, a few good screamers, or specifically one. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who that would yeah. be. <laughs> is because is it something like you just said? You couldn't really like you don't hear each other that much. Because I can imagine that you would get a lot of energy also from your teammates being as excited as they are. Is that yeah. something that would hamper you? Like if you don't, if you can't hear them cheer as loud? Yeah, in general, the whole uh, not being able to hear each other so well, it, it's. It's a problem, especially since we communicate a lot or try to. So, of course, not being able to hear a no-tail scream like Mad is a bit annoying. But what can you do? <laughs> you know he's doing it. Yeah, uh, yeah, because he's yeah he's not just screaming. He might be jumping up and down yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. So you could see him moving see as well. Yeah. I don't know how he does it actually. How could he? S I never get it. How could he stand up and continue playing? Because the team fight's still going. He kills one. He's like yeah. He's like screaming, standing up, doing motions. Like he's still playing. And he's still I'm playing. I'm so confused. Yeah. Sometimes I think that like that he like I, s I see a movie and I think like okay he probably just died and his team was winning the fight but that's not the case. No, no, no. <laughs> he just <laughs> he, still he somehow still plays. I don't know how. Yeah. So we are gonna see the clash of the titans. Yeah. Uh, best of five winners bracket advantage. What do you think of the winners bracket advantage? Uh, I'm not. I don't like it at all. I think you already get punished enough by losing that you have to play another match. It's a lot. And then having the winner's advantage makes it so anticlimactic because they have to win two games. Yeah. And they're like, this is a grand finals. We're talking about a ton of money here. It's supposed to be a best of five. But then they win two games and it's over. It's It feels wrong. I think they should stop with it in general. Okay, because I think a lot of people do share your sentiment on that one. Uh, there's, bar there's been a lot of talks about it. Uh, next to that, like, if you would s were to say, like, next season of Starletter, what kind of things would you change? Um... I think overall, I'm not a fan of best of ones in general. Okay. I know there's so a lot for of the group teams. Stages? Yeah, I know there's a lot of teams, but I hate best of ones. I think it's really hard. Ever like besides that, it's perfectly fine. If I think if the system was best of threes, at least, or maybe make a bigger distinction, you know, between the top teams and the lower ones, so you would have like the lower games would be best of ones. And then after it would be best of <laughs> That's threes. It's difficult to do that. It's difficult, but I'm just saying that it's very rough to play so many best of ones that, and you're playing for so much money. And like it happened to us, we weren't even supposed to be here unless Rocks gets lost, which is of course a lot of yeah. drama. But we lost two some best of ones, which we probably won't lose a best of three most likely. Y I can't say for sure. Yeah. But I feel like we won't lose a best of three against them, but we lost a best of one, and suddenly we might be out of the tournament. So. That's my take on it. Yeah, because you were, I it was very, like, last minute that you were yeah, still it was lucky. It it was, yeah. There's no way around it. It was lucky. Um, <laughs> but I don't want to get into it because it's a big drama, and I know Roxas probably feel really bad about it. Uh, yeah, and I know that, that there probably will be some changes next season. Yeah. So oh, yeah. The whole uh, Ringer situation, I would say this also have a rule on it. I don't know what exactly, but Th some I don't rule. think they've decided, but they're, like, discussing what the best way would be to deal with that because, of course, I mean, it, it, it will happen that there's yeah. not going to be your full roster at some point, but yeah. there need to be more regulation for it. So I agree on that, uh, for sure. There has to be some kind of rule to, you know, say something. Yeah. 
So uh, we s we just saw the uh, Sigma versus uh, Navi game, and well, the second game was of course very even. It was our first real even game that we actually saw this tournament. Pretty much. What do you think of the series overall? Uh, it was pretty nice. It's a shame that Sigma didn't win the second game because yeah. they could have definitely taken it. Um, I would say Navi had the slightly better draft in both games, very slightly, with which means both teams could still win. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall it was good games, and like I said, yeah, it's a shame they didn't win. Oh, it does give us Navi versus the Lions. Is that like if you if you knew that you were either going to be a spectator, like if you would choose two teams, would these two teams in the finals would have been your choices to watch as well, like for viewing? Uh, if I wasn't playing in the tournament. Yeah. Um, depends on who the new fourth team would be. If it wasn't Fnatic, if it was Rock's otherwise kids. I would say Fnatic. <laughs> if it was Rock's kids. If it was Roxas, I would say uh, yes, Navi Lions. Oh, a question, by the way, because of course Workscase is not here, and one of the things that I personally was looking forward to is seeing Dazzle Slardar. And huh. I mean, there was a Dazzle ban in one of the games, but he's like there, been ignored. How come? Uh, why do you think that is? Because it's it's been used quite a lot. Uh, I think Slardar. Actually, both those heroes are fairly underrated. Something. Just that was my fail. My okay. phone doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. <laughs> no. Anyways, I hope it's okay. It is. Um, Daz and Slaughter are both fairly underrated in their own respective roles. I know No-Tail has a huge crush now on Slaughter, and that's sort of a pun I just made. I didn't realize. It was a good one. The, 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 like yes, the subtle yes. one of the best ones. Yes, yes, I know. Yes. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, it's very good, especially on Dario. Take the Roshan. He even has this idea that you could run him as support, which I haven't tried yet. I get his point that it's basically some crazy guy running at you and stunning you. <laughs> it's pretty strange, but it's possible. Uh, yeah. Uh, so It's strong early game, but he'll fall off real fast. Yeah, it, it depends. If you have a good game, he could destroy. Otherwise, yeah. of course, the hero doesn't do as much. But I do agree that it's underrated, both of them. And I was surprised that at least one of them was not picked. We thought about using it in one of our games. I can't remember which. Uh, I think Dazzle is a very strong support. He's yeah. very strong on lane. And in general, he makes your fighting better. And right now, the meta is a lot about fighting. So, I don't know why they weren't picked in this one. I, I don't think neither Navi nor Alliance played very often. But I, I'm pretty sure Sigma plays at least Dazzle. Yeah, yeah. They, they, and th there was a Dazzle ban in the game where they were yeah. actually playing against them, I believe. So. Uh, no, actually, they banned the Dazzle, I believe, against Navi. That instead of Abaddon. Well. Which, that was actually strange. But... I'm not surprised if we will see more of this whole Dazzle Starter business. Hopefully, for like for me personally, hopefully in the finals we'll see uh, if that's going to happen. Uh, you, you you mentioned the meta for for a second there, and I actually want to know from you is like, there's only been two zeros, and there's not been r really a lot of easy games. Is that something that is because of the current meta, current patch, or is that? Well, for the fact that it's two zeros, I wouldn't say so. But for the fact that it's quick games, yeah. it's a lot about the meta because one team is going to have the advantage. They're going to take the Roshan, especially if they're dire, and then they're just going to go push your towers and you're going to lose. Because right now the whole uh, split pushing doesn't work as good. You see like um, ourselves and and uh, Alliance don't pick Furin as often yeah. because it's not as strong in this patch, usually, at least against this style of play. So usually if one team takes the advantage, it's going to be over very quickly. You, ca you can't do much about it. That's it's very shame. hard to deal with. It's a shame. I know. What, what would be one thing that you would change about that? Like, is there is there one kind of thing that you would say, like, if you change this, it will be different again? Um, I would make Roshan harder to kill. That's actually Hani mentioned before. Yeah. yeah. At least it makes the whole thing that if you start winning on Dire, you're pretty sure that you're going to win the game. On Radiant, it's a, they could still sneak a Roshan and yeah. have the chance again. But if you're winning on Dire... It makes it really hard for the other team to win. So at least that helps it a very little bit. So that's a, my opinion. Yeah, because I've heard uh, like diff different versions about it, about uh, getting Roshan either stronger or making sure that he doesn't spawn before the creep studs. It's like, what kind of change would you make him? Like, would you make him like tougher to kill? Yeah, tougher to kill. It's so easy with minus armor. You just get a medallion. You can clear him so fast with yeah. any type of team. Doesn't matter what you have. Yeah, that is true. I would do that. So what are your expectations for the finals? Uh, I think Alliance would win, okay. uh, the plus one game being uh, another helpful factor in that. Um, you know that previous Star Ladder, they were in the winner's bracket advantage as well, and Navi did three, uh, won three games in a row? 
Which tournament was uh, that? I think that the Star Ladder Finals oh, was? last season. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, now so it's a whole different situation. I think uh, Alliance is very strong right now. Yeah. They're in a good winning streak, and it feels like it's very hard to get them out of their comfort zone. While Navi is pretty much just picking up as we go along, because yeah. suddenly you know they see the whole invoker, it's like it works out really well for them. Uh, yeah. But I think it will be easier for Alliance to take out Navi from their comfort zone than the other way around. Okay, and is it going to be then like 2-0? Is it? Are we going to see more 2-0s, or, or is Navi going to still take a game? Uh, I'm hoping it won't be 2-0. Yeah, I can't say for sure. I still think Alliance will overall win, but I don't know if it'll be a 2-0 or a 2-2, which would be the best case scenario. Yeah. Or yeah, or three two, but uh, my bet is on the uh, alliance still. Okay, well thank you for joining me, and uh, of course to everybody out there, the game will not start for a while, but uh, we will soon have Merlini and LD here to talk about the match with you. So uh, they will be back here soon. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll uh, see you later. For the first time ever in the eighth season of Legendary Star Ladder, viewers will be able to increase the Dota 2 prize pool on their own. The base prize pool is $50,000. Each ticket bought through the Dota 2 store will add $2.50 to the tournament prize pool. Support your favorite team and help the development Star Ladder Star Series. Every ticket owner gets an exclusive Weaver set. 